Previously on Haunted. I think maybe something's wrong with me. Ever since that night, the night I got stabbed, uh, I've been seeing things. That special talent you brought back from the other side it makes you glow in the dark, my friend. Lots of people claim to see ghosts, but very few can claim to be seen by ghosts, Frank. You haven't been right since the Mason case. And I know dying and coming back to life has got to bring heavy changes, but all these hunches you get, you don't want to talk about it. You know, this isn't the way I planned on spending my Saturday. I'm trying to focus here. Yeah, well, I'm a homeowner who needs to focus on mowing his lawn, painting his fence, and washing his car. You know, what's this about anyway? This is about someone spending their first permanent disability check. He doesn't look disabled to me. Here. I have a little present for him. Get a nice, tight close-up of the look on his face when I hand it to him. Or when he hands it to me. What do you mean? His name's Juan Uribe. He used to be a cruiserweight contender. The Juan Uribe? Frank, man, this guy's no contender. He was the champ for a year. He owned it. Just keep taking pictures, no matter what. All right. over at Indian Mutual wanted me to give you this neck brace. years ago, my son was taken from me. Since then, I've lost everything. My job, my marriage, even my life. But I came back, and the dead came with me. The retina looks normal, no internal bleeding or swelling. Vision's back to 20-20 like you never even lost your sight. You sure you didn't black out at all? Right before it happened, I felt this light burning sensation behind my eyes, but, I mean, he didn't really tag me that hard. I mean, at the time, I didn't associate losing my vision with the punch. Could it have been something else? People suffer temporary sight loss for any number of reasons. My guess is that it was caused by the obvious trauma of the punch. I'm glad you brought Frank to see me, but just to be on the safe side, I'd like you to see a specialist. If it happened once, does that mean it could happen again? Possibly. Your bout lasted only 15 minutes. If it reoccurs, it could be for much longer. That is why I would like you to see Dr. Evans. Until then, try to take it easy and avoid any undue stress. Avoid stress. <laughs> Police! 
Police are still searching for clues in the disappearance of 21-year-old Hillary Tyson. Tyson, the daughter of millionaire auto glass tycoon Oscar Tyson, disappeared three nights ago when she left a popular nightclub not far from here on Sunday. Better I'd say you've been beat with a stick. I'm sure what it felt like. The question is, why? What did it say to you again? My heart. My heart? The center of all emotion. Don't wax poetic on me, Dante. I'm not in the mood for it. It's one thing to see ghosts. I sure as hell don't want to start a new chapter. I'm serious. Where do you say you lost your sight the first time? Intersection over on 4th. My grandmother believed the places could get burnt. Burnt? Marked. Like, from a burst of energy, such as extreme emotions. He said that spirits could linger in those kinds of places because they're, they're so charged with energy. And what about the blindness? Would I look like a ghost doctor? <laughs> but if I was you, have a little look-see at the place you first encountered the ghost. Chances are something happened there. And I bet it wasn't good.
over 700 suicides in LA each year. Meet number 0538, Nestor J. Cruz, 55 years young. What do you have on him? More than usual. He spent a lot of time in the VA. Nam? History Files says he was a war correspondent for Stars and Stripes. He sure wasn't a paratrooper. What do you mean? He jumped from the 4th Street overpass, forgot to tuck and roll when he landed. The truck that hit him right afterwards didn't help. Any family? Mm-mm. Did he have any personal effects on him? $14 in cash, pack of smokes. No cane, though. Cane? Oh, yeah. Didn't I tell you? He was blind. never seen anything like that, not even in med school. Are you sure you're going to be all right, Frank? I'm sure. Dante will get me home, and uh, I'll be as good as new in a few hours. Thanks, Jimmy. All right. You're doing fine. Oh, watch your step here. <sighs> OK. It'll come back. Yeah, sure it will. I hope. Guess you found your ghost, huh? <laughs> I'd say you found me. Frank, you sure you don't want me to take you to the dock? It'll pass. Pass too. What a claustrophobic feeling. I got it. It's okay. What time is it? Uh, 5.15. It's three hours. How long did it take you to get your sight back the last time? Not this long. Frank, don't freak out, man. You're probably right. It's a ghost. Like all lost spirits, it just needs something. That's all. That's all. And how am I supposed to get him what he needs if I can't see? Frank, you'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You don't have to do this, you know. You're right. I got better things to do. I'm out of here. Jerk. <laughs> Look, man, the point is, I can remember a time or two when you didn't have to hang in there for me. But you did. You mean by busting you? That's exactly what I mean. And don't go trying to, oh, I was just doing my job routine. Just never busted a thief that quoted Titus Andronicus and fenced his hall to feed runaways. <laughs> you didn't belong on the street. No one does, Frank. You know what? I think you're right. Maybe that's what Nestor's trying to show me. What it's like to be him. The question is, why? So that I can figure out what happened to him. Dante, I hate to ask, but, uh... No, Frank. Come on, man, you don't have to ask. Just tell me what to do. Yeah. 
I'm here. Okay. You're looking for a man. Um... Wearing feathers. Uh huh. I'm serious. I see him. Follow him. He's all we've got. Dante, what do you see? Let's just say, man, standing in Nesta's shoes isn't very pretty. Who's there? I said, who's there? to spin a verse poet. You know me? Oh, I know everything that happens down there. Why pay homage to Nesta? I'm looking for answers. Did you know him well? I just want to find out what happened to him, that's all. Then go to church. What? You know what they say. Seek and you shall find. Dante. I'm at the first activity. Now what? Ask around. Find someone who knew him. Start with the priests. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. What? I'm wondering if you knew a man named Nestor Cruz. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did, I did. I knew, I knew of Nestor. Uh, can you tell me about it? Nestor was a lot, a lot like the people in your, your poems. Why? Nestor used to say that he was invisible, at least to the people that, that live in the world. What does he mean, invisible? Uh, you say he was invisible? Mm -hmm. How? Well, even the blind man can tell when the, the world just looks the other way so they don't have to, to, to deal with you. Just because a man's invisible, that don't mean that he don't count. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I think. Dante, what are those bells? Uh, church bells. Ask him where he might have slept. Uh, listen, did he have a home base around here? Yeah, he'd set up right in the the in in the park. Yeah, to, to, to get away from the the people. Dante, get back here now. Head here. Maybe they knew our guy. Come on. Frank, this way. Dante, do you hear that? What? 
The tapping. You don't hear that. No. It's this way. See this place. We got an empty shelter right up here. Hold okay. On. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got you. What do you see? What do you see? Uh, could be nesters. Filled with bags, boxes, rolled up clothes. Down? Okay, here, check this out. Is. Oh. Found his dog tags. Why would he leave all this if he knew he was going to go downtown? My dog. He's here. Oh, where? He's right here. It's that way. Gotta go that way. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, I got you. Through here? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Hey. Okay, okay, slow down, Frank. Watch your step, watch your step right here. My heart. Frank, what? Don't you smell that? What? And don't you smell that? No. Shine your light over there. Over there. Okay, okay. That way. Oh. Okay. Man or woman? Woman. How old? Young. Twenties. Oh, you're lucky you can't see this, man. Not so lucky. Tells me this is exactly what Nestor wanted me to see. All right, so let's put this down. Right you were right. Artillery Tyson. The missing heiress. This is a pretty big case for you to be working on, Frank. I'm not. I'm working on an unrelated case. At least I thought I was. Rich, young, and beautiful. These days, that's a deadly combination. What do you mean? Well, Hillary Tyson was in some pretty wild stuff. The boys at Homicide just met up at Vice North for a long time. Look, let's meet up later. Compare notes. What's the connection between a young, rich socialite and a homeless Vietnam vet? I don't know. Nesta wanted you to find her. 
so you two can't solve the number one murder case in L.A. yet. Any word from the coroner's office? Preliminary report confirms cause of death is asphyxiation approximately three days ago. That means she died shortly after she left the club on sunset between the hours of 10 and 1 a.m. That's one to three hours before Nestor died. Nestor? The case that brought me to her. Nestor Cruz, he was homeless. He was living in the park. Yeah, police listed him as a jumper. But we think something else happened to him on the 4th Street overpass. So what does Nestor Cruz have to do with Hillary Tyson then? Proximity. We found all of Nestor's belongings not far from where we found Tyson. So you think he might have died? No. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. The transient spot's an easy target. Like Tyson. Nestor didn't spot anybody, Marcus. He was blind. And we're wondering if the connection might not be so much what he saw, but what he witnessed. We think he might have heard something. Like Hillary Tyson being murdered. And whoever killed Hillary realized there was a witness and followed him to the overpass. The overpass is several miles from the park. How'd he get that far so fast? If you're blind and it's 2 o'clock in the morning, what do you do? So this is where the old guy got off? No, this is where I had to kick him off. He was crazy. I told him not to come back. I don't think you have to worry about that now. He's dead. Someone pushed him from that overpass, probably right after you kicked him off your bus. Hey, that ain't my problem, Paul, all right? We got a zero tolerance policy for trouble on the bus, especially on the late shift. It's a company rule. He was upsetting my passengers. How was he upsetting your passengers? He was out of control. Kept on yelling and carrying on. Kept on insisting someone was after him. Wanted me to drive him to the police station. I told him, hey, man, this is a bus. This ain't no cab. Did he say who was after him? Yeah, kids. Loud kids in a loud car. He kept yelling it over and over. Loud kids in a loud car. <sighs> Ain't my fault if the guy got popped. Did you see which way it went after he got off the bus? Yeah, he went right over there. Whoever murdered Hillary Tyson also murdered Nestor Cruz. Who's Nestor Cruz? I guess you could say he's a client. What? Tell me. We got our first good lead in the Tyson case. We found a witness who claims Hillary left a downtown swingers club with a guy. Who'd she lead with? Fritz Channing. Fritz Channing, the software guy? 
No, that's his dad. Fritz Jr. is a spoiled brat who inherited his fortune when he died in a plane crash last year. He may be rich, but the kid hasn't got a nickel's worth of common sense, or self-respect for that matter. What do you mean? <laughs> you know the type. He's got a mouthful of gimme and a handful of take. He thinks the world is his own private party. And if you're not invited, he's not afraid to kick you out. Mm. So you've interviewed him? Oh, yeah. He had his high-priced lawyer right there with him. Does he have an alibi? Yeah, but it's loose. Well, what if I were to pay Fritz an uh, unofficial visit? Private. I'm a private investigator. Oh, is that right? Fritz Janning? Who is it, Fritz? My name is Frank Taylor. I'm looking into the deaths of Hillary Tyson and Nestor Cruz. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Sorry, Fritz has answered plenty already. He doesn't have to answer yours. Look. Hillary was a friend of ours. It's a painful subject. And you are? Brandy Combs. You were all partying together the night Hillary was murdered. I don't want to be rude, but that's none of your business. But this is about your friend, Hillary. Right, Fritz? I mean, you do want to help. Yeah, totally. Have you ever seen this man before? He was murdered the same night as Hillary, and I believe the crimes may be related. Fritz? Never seen the dude in my life. Maybe you should take a closer look at him. Nestor Cruz. If he says he's never seen the man, he's never seen the man. Maybe you should leave. Right now. I'm out of here. <laughs> 
He knew. No, he didn't. I'm telling you, he did. Well, you didn't have to hit him. What, what was I supposed to do? He was checking the car. It doesn't matter. Oh, it looked like it mattered to him. So, do what you have to do. This is insane. I can't keep doing this. He was hurt. He looked half dead. He can't be far. in the back of Fritz's car. It's Nestor Cruz's Purple Heart. I don't know what he's talking about. He planted that! I'm talking about murder. You dust that back seat, I'm sure you're gonna find plenty of Nestor Cruz's fingerprints. It, it was her idea. Shut up! Let's not forget about Hillary Tyson either, Fritz. Hillary and I were just gonna have some fun in the park. Brandy wanted to join us. Fritz, just shut Brandy up! Brandy thought it was gonna be a real trip, you know? I said shut up! And it was her idea to try the whole pass out thing. But you just went too far and Hillary, Hillary died. I didn't even care about the old man until you freaked out and said I had to do something. You bastard! I'm... Get him out of here. <laughs> Nestor must have struggled with him right before they hit the guardrail. I guess Izzy got ripped off his jacket when they pulled him out. Right before they pushed him over the edge.
My heart. My heart. It truly is the center of all emotion. It was for Nestor Cruz. Wow. There he is. He's the one who told me where to find Nestor.